Hey guys, it's Raptor, and welcome back to World of Tanks. Today, I have the privilege of once again featuring my good friend Gauntlet. This time, though, he is in his M48 Patton Tier 10 American Medium Tank. They are on the Redshire map, and this is a majority Tier 10 game, so there are quite a few Tier 10s on each side. Now, as you can see, his team have one FV215B183 and one Gorilla 15, and the enemy team has two Gorilla 15s, one uh, FV215B183, and one Jaegeru. So they definitely have the advantage in tier 10 tank destroyers. However, his team have the advantage in tier 10 heavy tanks as they have an E100 and I or two IS4s and a T125 as well as the T57 heavy and as well you will also notice that the enemy team have no medium tanks so that is also good for his team now he posts the ridge gets spotted and spots the T49 so he pulls back up, puts a shot into him, and then ducks down because he does not want to be the first thing that those two enemy artillery shoot at. He hides behind the rock until he's unspotted and then pulls back. He doesn't want to overextend himself because him, the Skoda, oh, <laughs> well, I was about to say him, the Skoda, and then the RU251 are the only ones over here. And then the RU251 got nuked by the enemy artillery. Good job, RU. You should know better than to sit still when spotted. Anyway, so Gauntlet comes up here, starts using these bushes and looking for some shots. He sees he's got some shots at the side of the Yeguru and starts pumping some shells into him. As well as the Skoda T50 right next to him. Now he sees he has the side of the turret of this T125, so he puts some shells into him as well. He spots the Waffen trigger and looks for a shot. He fires. It looks like it hit the hill in front of the Waffen trigger. And he checks the T125 again and then blind fires the Waffle. And looks for shots at the side of the T125. He auto aims and hits him and T125 left on 69 health and Gauntlet finishes him off. Now Gauntlet did get spotted there so he starts moving. He looks behind him, sees that there is a T125 over there, but he sees the T34 and looks for some shots. He takes one but it misses and he's not going to stick around to to let these guys push on his flank. He spots the Death Star, puts a shot into him, looks for a shot at the IS-3, but the IS-3 gets uh, behind the building, and he blind kills the E-75. Now, I don't know if the Gorilla-15 behind Gauntlet to his left put a shot into the E-75 after he disappeared, or if that was an ammo rack. I guess we're going to have to find out in the post-battle results. But that was a very, very unlucky E-75. And Gorilla-15 comes over, Gauntlet puts a shot into his tracks, and the Gorilla-15 automatically repairs them. Puts a shot into the side of the T-125, and then finishes him off as he bounces the IS-3 shell off of his side. Possibly hit the turret. And then he takes a hit from the IS-3, but keeps going. IS-3 isn't too much of a threat, seeing as he is only a tier 8, and this is a tier 10 game. And Gauntlet has enough health to take a couple of hits from him. Takes a blind shot at the Gorilla-15, doesn't look like it hit. It didn't. He pulls up, looking for shots at this Gorilla-15 when he pokes the ridge. He's got him, and puts a shell into him. Gorilla-15 sits there, looking for shots at something, uh, then he aims at Gauntlet, fires, anticipating that Gauntlet would have kept backing up, but Gauntlet didn't, and so the Gorilla missed. Checks the IS-3 again, and sees the T-57 Heavy, 
looks for some shots at him and sees that he's backing up, so he aims behind the rock and puts a shell into the side of his turret as he backs over the side of that ridge. Now he sees the IS-3 going across the open field and puts a shot into him. Going to look for a shot, hopefully, before he gets in the cover. Yep, there you go. Got one more into him. And now he's in cover. Now Gauntlet sees the T-125 on his team pushing into the Death Star and comes over here to support him. He loads the heat rounds because he does not want to bounce, but notices that the Death Star is pointing away from him and loads the regular rounds after the first shot. And him, the T-125 takes a big hit from the FE, but he was full health, so he did have enough health to take the hit. Sees the tree knocked over, Gorilla 15, coming over after Gauntlet, takes the hit from the Gorilla, and finishes the Gorilla off. T-57 Heavy puts a shot into the T-10, or the T-110, uh, then gets a shot into Gauntlet right as he's pulling back over the ridge. And here, I think this T-57 is probably reloading, because he's not firing at either the T T-110 or Gauntlet. So they finish him off. A gauntlet bounces the Waffenträger off Panzerfia and auto aims and kills him. And up to this point, Gauntlet has done 7,461 damage that we know of. Of course, there's the blind shots that he took uh, and the blind kill that he got. So we'll have to check the post battle results to see how much. He will get now he loads the high explosive anticipating that the artillery are going to be over here and he knew that the IS-3 wasn't going to last against a Jaegeru and or not a Jaegeru a Death Star and a Yag Tiger so he kills the bat chat artillery and here he's going to go on a wild goose chase looking for the last artillery piece because he wants the Radley Walters medal so I'm going to fast forward through this a bit because it's boring watch some, watching somebody drive all the way across the map. Now the friendly Batchat artillery is on cap and if Gauntlet doesn't find the, the enemy artillery soon they'll cap out. Now here he asks the Batchat to not cap and the friendly Batchat kindly gets off the cap to let him get the kill and a gauntlet thanks him for that now he spots the m53 puts the shot into him and finishes him off for 8007 damage total that we know of again there are the blind shots that he made that was a really good game. Now let's check the post-game results to see how well he did. And as you can see, that is an ace tanker with a spotter badge, bruiser, fire for effect, Radley Walters for killing eight enemy vehicles, high caliber, and tanker sniper, as well as the top gun, of course. And as you can see, that is his second mark of excellence for his M48 Patton, so very well done. And if we check the stats over here you can see that he hit the Waffenträger with one of his blind shots that he made and that the blind shot on the E75 that happened to kill him was only 423 damage so the Gorilla 15 that was sitting behind the gauntlet definitely hit him blind as well as you can see definitely top of his team on damage doing just shy of 9,000 damage and a little bit over double the amount of damage that the next highest person on his team did. So very well done indeed. As you can see here, he fired 29 times. 26 of those were direct hits and all 26 of those were penetrations. And if we check his assistance damage, which would be tracking and spotting damage, he did just shy of 4,500 spotting damage, so very well done. And as you can see, with a premium account, after repair and resupply, 
he still made 56,000 credits, even with the few premium rounds that he fired. So well done indeed. Now guys, if you have a replay that you would like to send me, there are details in the video description on how to do so. I accept World of Tanks and World of Warships replays. If you liked the video, think about giving it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. It lets me know what you think. If you haven't already, subscribe and leave a comment. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and I will see you in the next one.